Hey, what's up guys? So, we're gonna do another little lore review video. Um, this time we're talking about the Aloha Lures Magic Malolo. Um, and now, there are two sizes to this bait. This is the bigger one. There is also a nine inch one. Um, I've been pulling it a bit this winter and it has been absolutely getting piled on. And this one, I have put on the tantrum strobes. I did a blue over white, just kind of a natural color to kind of go with the, uh, the uh, fish insert. And um, I left the blue on this a little bit longer, just so I could have a little bit longer hook set and almost kind of have that as looking like a tail in the back there. Whether it makes a difference, I do not know, but it makes me feel better about it. Um, so anyways, yeah, I want to go into this bait a little bit and um, it's new to me, but it's been around for a very long time. Uh, and the, the shape, you know, this kind of um, broom handle kind of uh, rounded bullet shape is, uh, is nothing new. That is something that's been around for a while, but this bait in particular, the uh, insert I think is what really makes it shine. And now by insert, I don't mean just the, the fish head insert, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, that thing looks really realistic. It really, it's bright, it lights up really well in the water. But I think the way Eric weighted it um, and how he put the insert in and all of that stuff really I think adds to how this bullet uh, performs. Now, um, he also calls this the magic bullet. Um, he likes the nine inch. Um, and uh, I think he prefers the nine inch one for most species. I really like this big one, the nine inch one. Um, I haven't pulled yet, although I'm sure it runs really, really good. And I'm sure everything will pile on that thing. Um, my, the, the main thing that I've been getting um, bit on this is running it in the stinger position. However, I think you could easily run this thing in the long rigger position, the short rigger position. Um, as long as you got some rigger, uh, rigger height on that, um, I think this bullet will run great. So characteristic wise, this is a bullet that actually could be a really great bullet for somebody, uh, a novice uh, lure fisherman who's just kind of getting into it or hasn't run a lot of bullets and is kind of curious because this is basically, you know, you'll hear us talk a lot about a black water ripple or some call it a black water ruffle or something like that. And you know, some bullets, it, it takes a, quite a bit of adjusting and moving around to get that specific ruffle or ripple, right? That we like to talk about, or, you know, some, some bullets you want to even do like a little bit of a dish ragging. And so that takes a little bit of fiddling and moving around and, um, you know, in Kona, we're lucky because it's so calm, we are able to sort of adjust it and really get a lot of action out of these. When it becomes rough, it does become a little more difficult to get some of the bullets to really do what you want them to. It just takes a little more adjusting. Uh, but, you know, you do want to see your bullets running. Um, you do want to see them, you know, doing their thing, doing their ripple. Um, but what I'm saying with this one is this, this is this is a bait that's going to give you an unbelievable ripple. Um, and I feel like if you put it out there and maybe it's not 100% in the right spot, you know, maybe it's not in the right part of the wave, you're still going to get a pretty good ripple out of this out of this bullet. It's still really going to give you a lot of action. Um, and when you get it in that sweet spot, you're going to get a really good fish attracting action. You're going to get that movement and that ripple and that vibration that's going to bring you a lot of bites. But like I said, if you're still new to it and you're positioning it, you're going to be able to see this bullet as you position it, which is going to help. It's going to give you a really good ripple. And what this one's, this one's been doing when I've been running it is, um, so he'll come up and, uh, you know, do that black water ripple disappear might give me a little pop um, but for the most part this thing's really paddling along back there and the the movement that it's making um, if you're not a super familiar lure fisherman um, it almost reminds me of a kite bait if you've done a lot of kite fishing and pull goggle eyes or something and you get them in that position where they're almost right on the surface and they're just kind of clicking their tail to try and get back down into the water and you get that little like ripple kind of right there or 
Um, sometimes you get a mahi-mahi that will come into your spread to, to eat a lure and it'll be kind of streaking across the surface and you'll see that little ripple from it as it's coming across. That's a little bit similar to what this blackwater ripple will do. Um, and I think you'll be really impressed by the action of this lure um, no matter where you run it. Uh, I've been putting a single hook in it um, and I, I like my single hooks in these. I would think if you're gonna probably just be targeting tunas, you may wanna adjust that and have a, uh, have a, have a hook maybe closer to the eye and go to rubber skirts. Um, sorry, closer to the head and have rubber skirts. Um, and uh, yeah, so what we did do a little bit different in this review is I actually did a uh, Zoom call with Eric uh, over at Aloha Lures and we discussed a bunch of different head shapes and we did a uh, sort of an interview and, and talked back and forth about fishing and about a bunch of his lures and um, that entire video will be made available to you guys but we also discussed some different baits and I had to bring up the Magic Malolo and I actually asked him, we were first talking about the smash bait and I asked him, you know, what are your two favorite lures, you know, or what are your, what are your couple of your favorite lures and, you know, the smash bait was obviously right there and then he, he came back and we said his second favorite is this Magic Bullet. Um, so let's shoot over to a little quick interview where he talks a little bit about this and you can kind of see what he has to say about it. For me, my other probably favorite lure or second favorite lure would be um, the Magic Bullet, which is just like a broomstick handle bullet um, with a fish head in it. And that lure that I've been making a variation of for probably over 30 years now, that is one I always feel like I'm fishing when it's in the spread. Yeah, I call it a Magic Bullet, but it was just that simple broomstick uh, handle shape, real, yeah. you know, kind of soft rounded bullet. And um, that lure just, you know, I uh, just, I love to eat fish, so I'm a, a meat yeah. fisherman at heart. And that lure is just, yeah, that's the one. So God. is that the, that's the nut, is that the, uh, the 12 inch? That's, this is the bigger, the bigger one. That that's, yeah, you have the bigger version right there. Yeah. yeah, I don't have the smaller one. This, I guess, I didn't know there was a bigger, smaller one, but. Uh, um, <laughs> this is the one that this is the one that I actually Hannah told me about the smaller one. I guess her and Ross caught a bunch of fish on the smaller size or something. Um, but yeah, this is the one I've been pulling, and uh, immediately when I love that in the spread. The thing just the ripple it made. I was like, oh yeah, this thing is gonna get hammered. Oh, it looks great with the, the flash of blue. Looks awesome. Yeah, I like it with the flash. I just did kind of a natural blue, blue over over white. And uh, yeah, I was running it on the stinger and then I ran it on the long rigger for a little, but uh, the uh, the ripple on it was was insane. And it got bit, I think it, it got bit just about every day I ran it. Um, and we were in the winter, so I think it's probably a really good bait for a winter time fishing here in Kona, but I'm definitely running it in the summer. I'm sure it's gonna get a lot of bites. Um, and uh, and I had a pretty good hookup rate on it too. So some, some of my bullets, I don't know, some bullets for me have a great hookup rate and some of them don't. Some of them get smashed, but they don't, they just seem to, the bites are weird on them, but I seem to be getting them on this one. Um, so yeah, um, but that's that's cool that we, uh, we kind of go into this because this is definitely one of the baits I wanted to talk to you a little bit about. Um, all right, so that was pretty cool. Um, I felt really lucky that I got to have that conversation with Eric and, um, um, like I was saying in there, you know, I have been, it's been winter time since I've got this. So I've been running in the winter and it's been an extremely productive bait for me. Um, I am really looking forward to the spring and summer and what it brings. I think, I think we're going to catch some really big fish on this. Uh, and I think it's going to be a really, really, really good bait. So, um, I definitely suggest getting one of these and putting it in your arsenal. Uh, this is not just a tuna bait. This is going to catch a lot of your blue marlin. I can tell you that black marlin, blue marlin, striped marlin, whatever. Your billfish species are going to like this. Uh, the head insert is super realistic looking. Uh, the shine, the glow, um, it's, it's really impressive. Uh, he, he's done an amazing job on this. And, and the way it runs, like I said, is when you put it out there, you're going to just see immediately it's gonna run different than probably any other bullet you've pulled. Uh, it's gonna really have that ripple for you. It's really gonna have the, the action that you're gonna 
you're gonna kind of really like. Um, and uh, yeah, go give them a check. We're gonna have them on GZ's website, about to release a bunch of these, and, and they'll be coming up from time to time. And um, like I said, I, I prefer running it on the Stinger, but you could get away with running on the long rigger and maybe even the short rigger and um, get it out there and, and fiddle around with it and go catch some fish. All right. <laughs>